Hi everyone, in this video, I'll talk about similarities as well as differences between EEPROM and flash memory. Let's see the similarities first. The first similarity is its memory type. So here both are non-volatile memories. That means it will preserve the data even during the power shutdown. The second similarity is both can be electrically erased as well as it can be programmed. So these two are the basic similarities in between EEPROM and flash memory. Now let's see the differences between these two. So first difference is at cell level. How EEPROM and flash memories are constructed at cell level. Here you can see the EEPROMs have two gates. One is for bit select and another is the control gate and on this control gate you see this is a floating gate where the electrons will be migrating from this n plus plus region to this region during the programming operation when substrate is ground and we apply higher voltage here on this gate the electrons present in n plus plus region will be migrating to this floating gate and in flash memory, we are having only one control gate. Next, if we see about the cost of these two, so EEPROM memory is bit expensive than the flash memory because it has one extra gate and flash memories are relatively cheaper. Third difference is with its capacity. EEPROMs are available in very small sizes which can be 64 bits to 512 kilobits when on other side it's in MBs and in market you can find easily it is available from 2 megabit to 128 megabits. Next difference is for its endurance. EEPROM program or ERES cycle count is almost 1 million means you can program or erase your EEPROM device for almost 1 million times. When on another side, these flash memories can be programmed or erased about 10,000 to 100,000 times only. Next one, in EEPROM, you can erase a single byte as well. Actually, in EEPROM, you can have either byte level erase, block level erase, sector level erase, and chip level arrays. When on flash memory, you cannot have byte level arrays. You can only erase at block level, sector level, or chip level. The next and last difference is its erase time. EEPROM memories can be erased very fast compared to flash memories. You can see here at all levels, you can erase this EEPROM within 5 milliseconds only. Either you perform sector erase, block erase, or even you perform full chip erase, it will take 5 milliseconds only. While on another side, the, these flash memories will take comparatively much higher time to erase it. And if you see, for full chip erase, it takes almost 3 to 5 minutes. So these were the basic and main differences between EEPROM and flash memory. So with this understanding, we can say that EEPROMs are used where very small size of memory is required. For example, some system informations in bits or kilobits range. While these flash memories can be used to store more number of data in megabits. I hope that you would have enjoyed this video and now you'll be having a basic understanding of EEPROM and flash memories. Let me end this video here and we'll continue with another topic and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe this channel.